Oh, that's definitely. So I'm talking about the little young kid. Too. Oh, that's definitely. Well, he could have been a terrible. Well, yeah, I was thinking he was Esau. Mm -hmm. He could have been a terrible. But he, yeah, because his spirit. Wait, his even spirit. a nigga can be an Esau. Even when the house that motherfucker yeah. looks like a nigga, he can actually be an Esau. Of course. It's just got a fair weird spirit on him. Yeah, you know, Esau uh, got a cane. Uh, Let me go on there. I thought all wife. niggas was uh, niggas Israelites. Yeah. That's the great mystery of this Bible. The mystery of It goes both ways. Like, there are some Israelites that look like white folks. There are some motherfucking Israelites. No, like we said, you even got Israel, uh, Israelites, Edomites. You got Edomites that can look like a Chinese person. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me exactly what an Edomite is? Though? The devil? The Edomites are so-called white people. Well, you got Jacob and Esau. Ja Jacob... You got to read it. You go to Genesis 25. Jacob and Esau. Esau is Jacob's evil twin brother. Okay, pretty much. Just like you had uh, Cain and Abel. You know about the story of Cain and Abel. All right. Well, Esau is Cain in the reincarnation. Okay, he got the same wicked spirit that Cain had on him. He was a murderer. Like the scriptures say, he was a murderer for the beginning. There's no truth in him. That's right. The beginning is on. Yeah. This is Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebecca his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, With your boy, Two nations. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, my fault. Two nations. <laughs> are in thy womb. The two nations are in thy womb, Jacob and Esau. Keep going. And two manner of people shall be separated. You gotta listen. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. Esau was the oldest. Go ahead. What's up, man? You know who Esau is? You down with Esau? Old somewhere. Yeah, you don't know who Esau is? You don't know the Bible very well, do you? No, to be honest, I don't. And I was trying to explain to you why. But I was trying to explain to you that you didn't know what you was talking about, but you didn't listen. Because you yeah. said that you said the Bible been trans. You do very well preaching well, to others. You don't change your approach. Actually, we ain't trying to preach to everybody anyway. Yeah, I ain't trying to preach to everybody. Your We're just out here for a certain elected people. Wow. A small group of people, yeah, which you ain't part of. Dude, you would never you know, listen to nothing I say, no matter how I say it anyway. You think I'm full of shit no matter what. I could be the nicest guy in the world, you'll still look at me like I'm a piece of shit. So, like, I care what you think. You're telling you have a lot of hatred in your heart. Well, I have lots of hatred. <laughs> the word lots of hatred. When you start knowing a lot about the word, man, the world itself, you become bitter. You become bitter, man. Bitter so you don't have Hebrew means stand for bitterness. Yep. You don't have no hatred in you? you so you, the scripture says, uh, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. So, so did that, what's the opposite? We're not, we're not so so the, what the Bible says, love not the world, it, it, that's hate. I'm supposed to hate the world. Am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong, bro. No, I know I'm not wrong, I'm just saying. So this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. I got it. That's some demon. Man, attacking you, man. They ain't trying to let you read the word, man. They ain't trying to let you go. I'm getting his ass with some Ebola. No, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ebola ain't no joke. I pray to the Most High Ebola come over here. This one, this one is called Bruce Ebola. This one calls him Andy. Ebola virus. You ain't heard about it? Over in Africa? Over there in that West Coast of Africa. Over like 700 people done die from Ebola. It's the There's black no death. cure for it. It's the black death is what it is. Same thing that killed us off in uh, darkness. Yeah. Same thing that killed us off. Israel. It's the same thing that killed Israel at I know there's a disease here that, that that's just the black people. That's, that's AIDS. AIDS. That's AIDS. No, 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 that's a dust. That's <laughs> AIDS. No, that's a AIDS dust. only affect Israel. Okay. Only affect Israel. All these all these diseases are general met of uh, 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 designed to only attack Israel. Yeah, that's a uh, now, what's that, Sion Leon? What's that land over there, over in Africa? Sierra Leone. That's Israelites right there. Yeah, well, all the west coast of Africa. When you look at the west coast of Africa, going up all the way up to Europe and all that right there, that's all Israel. 
Well, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Because Israel was going, had was it ships going from Ireland all around the coast of Africa through the Mediterranean. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, even since ancient times, y'all know about the ancient city of Carthage? Y'all know Carthage? Never heard of Hannibal? Yeah. Yeah, he had it fought with elephants and stuff. But anyway, Carthage, even back in the ancient world, had a population of like a million Israelites living among Canaanites. And there's a Canaanite city, but Israelites was dwelling with them, you know what I mean? But that, that was 3,000 years ago. Uh, so they've been, there's Israel all through Africa. Man. There's a Edomite. <laughs> Probably a so-called Jew. Looks just like the devil himself. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes 72. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Yeah, we're a mourning, bro. So you why I got so much hatred? We're a mourning. Okay, we're oppressed. For that is the end of all men. There's nothing to be happy about in this world, bro. This wicked ass city, you got women walk around half naked. Okay, all, all, all women are whores. Everybody's committing adultery. You got homosexuals walking down the street and transvestites. All the food is genetically modified. They put fluoride in your water. And then on top of all that bullshit, you got laws that oppress and, 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 and enslave you. You know, seatbelt laws. The cop, yeah, the cops will pull your ass over for a seatbelt. That uh, child support. Mm. Oh, that's the most wickedest thing uh, ever conceived. You gotta pay taxes before you, you get your check. Yeah, taxes, taxes. Stolen, like money stolen from you, your own wealth, man, your own money you work for. Here it is, the Bible says, you only, like you say you pay tithes to the priest. He's only supposed to get 10%. But in America, they take like 40% out your check, man. They, 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 yeah, they clean you out. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance of the heart is made better. That's like, we might come out as an asshole, but so that's just the way we operate. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Wait, let me repeat that. And we actually some cool people, actually. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of food is in the house of mirth. Yeah, we're a mourning, so when somebody comes up and they not in the same spirit as us, we have a problem with them, okay? That's not our, like I said, love not the world. If you come up here acting like you're part of the world, talking all this madness, talking about love this and love that, we ain't trying to hear that, man. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Yeah, it's equal nine or four. Is this a, that's a good point too. Uh, we're supposed to mark people. That's our job to come out here and teach you the truth. Okay? Whether you hear, whether you forbear. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. This is Jerusalem right here. Okay? Jerusalem is not over in the Middle East right now. That's the land of devils. Go ahead and set a mark upon the forehead. Even though we will go back to that land eventually. All right, go ahead, read that. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst there. Well, we're supposed to put them, read that again. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So we're supposed to be looking for the people that sign and crying for all the abominations. This is a damn abomination out here. That's why we told you we ain't out here for everybody. You know? Yeah, right, exactly. We only putting a mark on those that sign and cry. People who are like minded. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. And then there's scriptures like that all through the Bible. This is a filthy world we live in. This world, this is a number of filth. Foul world, it's man. filthy, it's foul, and it's abominable. It's a, it's a, what is it? It's a better word. It's degenerate. Here you go, Isaiah 58 and one. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So we swallow you get right. Usually we out here yelling at the top of our lungs. Sometimes we do go 
you know, yeah. can't even talk with me sometimes. Yeah. You know, like I said, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and I, show. Right, it is safe talk like a, like a homosexual. Like the, when we read, we read Revelation, and said the Lord, the one they called Jesus, he had a voice of many waters. So when he spoke, the people feared, they had trembled, you know what I mean? You think we were some rude dudes? He was the rudest of them all. That's right. And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Like, like, we talk like men, bro. We don't talk like little old women at these churches. The only reason they go into church is because they're 60 years old and now they're afraid to die. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, they don't read the Bible. You know what I'm saying? When all their life being a wicked ass motherfucker, you know, especially you see how they are, man. You know, end up you know selling drugs and flipping birds and kilos and they gonna do that when the meth. apocalypse is turned. When they find themselves locked up, then they want to serve the Lord. You know, come out to come out of jail. They experts on the Bible. You know, they come out of they come out of the jail. Experts on the Quran. Yeah, Quran too. <laughs> now I got a scripture for you. Uh, Second Corinthians uh, eleven and six. Behind us. There's some bugs out here today. Second Corinthians 11 and 6. But though I be rude in speech. So who cares how to come out? So to be a man, you're going to let language uh, right. uh, 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 block your mind that, that, that there's a message in it. Right. Know, there's I'm, still a message no matter how it's coming out. Because I, I be coming off as an ass. Well, the first time I met you, I was a real asshole to you. <laughs> That's young, because we deal with so much shit. We ain't got time to, you know what I mean? People be driving us crazy. You gotta beat your head up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I mean, that's Proverbs. You know, the Lord love it, he's Yeah, right. Like, like I said, we were all knuckleheads at one time. You know, not just you, y'all, yeah. whatever. You know, we were all idiots at one time. And we, you know, we make sense with other people. I mean, that first day he's out here, I wanted to choke him. <laughs> hey, we, was we was walking off like I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he kept talking. He was mad because he couldn't eat pork. He just about pork. <laughs> but here, let me read it. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. But though I be rude in speech, so we come off rude, man. That's just the way we come off. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. We have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. In all things. In all things. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. In all things. We know what we're talking about, man. We, we're the authority on the Bible out here in this city. Okay, this is our lot. This Columbus is our lot. We was appointed to teach in this city. That's right. That's right. Here you go. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, Came not with excellency of speech. Yeah, now we, we don't come out here speaking perfect, eloquent English. You know what I'm saying? Or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. And hey, get that one. Uh, where you at? For uh, first Corinthians. Okay, keep reading that. Yeah, For I de determined not to know anything among you, save Jehovah Shai and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. What the fuck is this? But in demonstration of the spirit of the Lord. Is that faggot shit or something? Looks like faggot shit to me. <laughs> I've seen that before. I forget what that is. Some, some gay shit. Just ask me. I saw that the last thing. See this one right here? Ask this one right here. I'm kind of curious. Oh, it's like that Uber, you know, the blue little thing on the, the U on that's like an alternate taxi cab service. Oh, you got uh, that's pretty fucking gay, if you ask me. Gotta be yeah, why couldn't they have a black yeah, one man, at least? Because like, like, everything in this society is all about being a homosexual. It, it, uh, America's got the vibration of a, 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 a horse right. woman, actually a transvestite. Yeah. Yeah. 
Station. Yeah, the Statue of Liberty is a transvestite. That's, what that's the whore of Babylon. That's yeah. what it is. Rogers. You can't tell because it looks like a, it's a woman, but it looks like it got that's features of a man. It got a square jaw. It looks like that. Look, look, look. It looks like that one motherfucker that's sitting there with uh, oh, it. It looks like some statue of some Roman dude. Soul Invictus. Soul Invictus. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. That, that was the ancient Roman. Yeah, that's the, the rays, the points on the Statue of Liberty, that's the, uh, the rays of the sun. Like, they used to, you can look at ancient Roman coins and, uh, They'd have Soul Invictus on there. Or that or the Emperor would wear a crown like that. Right. You know what I mean? If you think about it, the United States itself is the reincarnation of the Oh, yeah. That's what it is. That's what, exactly what it is. It's here for a short time. Right. Uh, it's a short time. That short time is up. It's going to be gone. Good. Short time's up. <laughs> this place is falling apart, man. This place is gone, man. And this place is... When you look up the word collapse, it's funny. Come look it up. Now, while you're looking that up, I'm about to read the scripture. Going back to talking root. Uh, Romans 16. He did not like that. I mean, we're real men. The Bible is a book for men. It's a manly book. You know what I mean? It's not It's not my little poem. You know what I'm saying? This ain't rainbow bright. Dr. Seuss. Yeah, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> well, he just got a ride by a peep mustache. He's probably going to go do some weird shit with him. <laughs> We probably <laughs> paying for a blow job. <laughs> 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 he was happy to get in that motherfucker too. <laughs> He's like, oh, he got happy ending too. From the faggot. <laughs> Free ride and a blow job. <laughs> Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. When you're teaching bullshit, that's causing division. You gotta mark your ass. Uh, mark them which cause divisions of the offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. <laughs> For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly. Woo! And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, I mean, that's all these churches. Every last one of them. Yeah, Joel Osteen is real bad. I'm not fucking bugs, Zach. Yeah, you're supposed to put something back here. Come on, Joe Osteen. One thing you talk about is like... Ain't the motherfuckers... Joe Osteen, because he used to watch Joe Osteen almost all the damn time. I'm trying to convince him that T.D. Jakes is a badass faggot in that damn Joe Osteen. T.D. Jakes, his sons of big homo got caught. Oh, yeah, you hear about T.D. Jakes' son got caught fucking some dude in the... Car or something. What? Yeah, he got caught. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that's in the news. Yeah. Hey. just a Freemason? They are probably all Freemasons. Yeah, because most churches, because most big churches nowadays are owned by Freemasons. Were well, they built by Masons? Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. You gotta be a Mason that built something like that. Like the preachers taking oaths and all that shit. Because Freemasonry, yeah, they worship Satan. Yeah, you can't really be a Freemason and part of a church, so. Well, well I heard, no, I heard they can't. There's actually preachers that are Freemasons. Oh, well, they try. No, they what they say. No, because they say you can't be a Freemason and part of the Catholic Church. But from what they say, that's been infiltrated a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Everything's controlled by the so-called Jews. Because Albert Pike was a 33rd degree Freemason. You heard of Albert Pike? He's one of the, one of the, the uh, guys behind the KKK. Uh, he didn't start it, but he had something to do. But he, he was like one of the most famous Freemasons of all time. They say he was one of the most knowledgeable Freemasons. But he said all Freemasonry is based upon the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is that uh, the so-called Jews witchcraft. You know what I mean? The, the Freemasonry goes start, go, uh, was started by the so-called Jew, the Esau. That's who it was started by. They're behind all of that shit, man. Fuck up. It's all based upon the Kabbalah. Goes your homies. They always yelling stupid shit at us. Bag it. Fuck you too. I never did nothing to that guy. You know he a Satanist. 
Oh, yeah. See, these people are stupid. They don't. They no, I, I had a friend that was just like that. My my friend, I walked in his house one day. He had motherfucking Bethlehem on his motherfucking wall. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers like that. But you see, that's what the church. And he, and he wrote something just like that. But you know, see, that's what these churches do to people. Cause they they get uh, they teach so much bullshit and so much lies. It drives some people to go crazy and start worshiping the devil. It's like, well, God's so fucked up the way you teach. I'm gonna worship Satan. But 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 people uh, usually turn to free missionary just for profits out of it. Yeah, get, get benefits off of it. Shit. You ever see that shrine? You guaranteed a great job if you're a free missionary. Oh yeah, that's the only way you can really get a job. Right. I mean, a career. Because my dude was talking about his dad is a 32nd degree free masonry. He said I'm gonna join the military. They said that they can boost my rank up. Oh yeah, they will too. Well, to be an officer. Uh, to be an officer. Because you know when you can join the military, you can be enlist or you can be an officer. Right. When an officer, they go through all kind of secret rituals and shit. But uh, the officer, you gotta go to uh, you gotta go to ROTC or uh, yeah. But well, you gotta go to college first. You gotta have at least an associate's degree. You know what I mean? But then you get you gotta go to officer school. I mean, well, I was I was no, in the no, Marines. It's called OCS. Yeah, OCS. OCS. I was in the Marines. I know all about that shit. Right. So, so pretty much, you ain't gotta go to college to be to be well, I mean, uh, a candidate no. for the OCS. Or well, yeah, yeah, you do. You do gotta go to college. You gotta go to college to yeah. be an officer. Well, a lot of them just go to West Point and they do it all at once. Oh, okay. They just go to West Point and that's officer training and college at the same time. Oh, okay. Like, I, what, what's the other college? West Point and uh, my brain ain't working. Citadel. Right. Yeah, Citadel and all them other military schools. Army, Navy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like David Robinson was an officer. He was a fucking lieutenant. You know, David Robinson, a basketball player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played the Navy. Yeah. He's a big faggot. You can look at him, he's a big homosexual. Uh, Shaq, you know, Shaq is a Freemason. He was he's bragging. Actually, he's a uh, Q. He was bragging about it. He was on Sports Center with his ring. But he ain't Q. You can't be in two for You can't be in two, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, you can. The you can Cra be a Q. You know, Alistair you can Crowley? Be, uh, yeah, Alistair Crowley was part of like 20 different lodges. Damn. Those, those, yeah. those, uh, 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 I'm talking about, I'm talking about- Oh, when you yeah. graduate with Rip Square. But that goes back to the, yeah, all that. Freemason. Y'all seen the Shriners, right? You know what the Shriner is? They wear the red hats with the little tassels. Uh, the Shriner on. Circus and like shit. Like the Shriner Circus? They're Freemasons. Uh, the, like the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, they were. But that red fez uh, goes back to the Ottoman Empire. You know you gotta study the Ottoman Empire. Are you talking about SpongeBob when you had that one eye and the fence like, on uh, and shit? Like the, the, the Flintstones uh, wore it. Remember the Flintstones? Yeah. Yeah. They wore that shit on the Flintstones. They wore the little red hats because they had their own little Freemason thing. Oh, that's crazy because Fred Flintstone worked at the rock yard, masonry. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, there's all kinds of uh, symbolism in this cartoon. Hell yeah. But that red fez they wear, though, represents the Ottomans who are Muslims. It represents the, because a lot of these Freemasons are secretly Muslim and, and devil worshippers and all kind of other shit. I thought they were true. Well, I, I can break that down, but hold on a second. Now, the, the Ottoman Empire, they they, they had a fed, they started wearing a fed because it represents the Muslims uh, killing Christians in battle and they dipped their uh, hats in the Christians' blood. Okay? Now, going back to the, uh, a lot of these so called Jews. They're uh, secretly Muslim. A lot of them, because they, uh, they got something called a Sabbatean Jew. Look up Sabbath. Uh, uh, there's a so-called Jew that lived in the Ottoman Empire, going back to the Ottomans again. You got to study the Ottoman Empire, right? Y'all know about that? Ottoman Empire. It was the last uh, Muslim caliphate. They controlled the whole Muslim world. They were Edomites. They were so-called white people. What? The Ottomans, yes, they were Edomites. Let me buzz you off with this. But hold on, the whole story of Dracula. Oh, what is it? The whole story of Dracula that come from an Israelite like that was killing the Oh yeah, the, uh, uh, Vlad the Impaler. They try to make him out like he was a bad dude. He was right. an Israelite. 
And he was killing them goddamn Edomites, some Ottoman Turks. He was steak, putting their asses on steaks. Yeah, he was, he was shoving so steak on their ass. The no, 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 no. No, no, nah, nah. the, the Ottomans were Edomites. They, 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 the Ottomans are Turks. They, they come up out the Caucasus and that, that out the deepest, darkest parts of Russia. Okay, just like the Khazars. You know the Khazars? Yeah, this dude's a Jew right there. <laughs> so you got, you got to study the Ottoman Empire. That's some, that's what World War One. Uh, they fell. The Ottoman Empire got taken down in World War One. Okay. And then they're trying to rebuild that bullshit. But they was Turks, just like uh, uh, Genghis Khan. He, he was a. Uh, Chinese, uh, nah, he's a white man. He was a Genghis Khan was a white man. Yeah, Genghis Khan was a white man. He was an Edomite. That's why they had Is John. That proof? That's why they had John Wayne play play Genghis Khan in the movie. But just because he played Genghis Khan, in the movie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they, got, they, they, they had they had Tom Cruise play a motherfucking Chinese dude, but he ain't no damn. Like, I mean, he won a Japanese man. Man. But, yeah, but he, he, mean, he played a white man that went over there. Right. But now they then they I don't know if that movie got made, but Mickey Rourke was supposed to play uh, Genghis Khan. Even though Mickey Rourke's actually a But, uh, yeah, Genghis Khan is a so-called white man. He came, did it, did it, they were Mongolian, but he was not Chinese. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I can't believe he's my real head Yeah, he's a evil Because the, the Turks and the, uh, the Mongols are very closely related. They're just two separate tribes of uh, Esau. You know how Israel got 12 tribes? Esau got like 11 tribes. You know what I mean? You can read about him in the book of Chronicles. Does it connect to, does it connect to any way about the one that I was talking about the 11th day, the rest of the 12th day, or the Does it connect to that anyway? I mean, you got different numbers. You got uh, seven. Got yeah, 12. I mean, every number has some kind of meaning. But maybe, maybe there's some significance of why they had that number. I don't know. You know what I mean? But they. You go to the Genesis 36 chapter. What do you go through there? Some of the Esau's. Well, the Dukes of Edom in First Chronicles. Thus, what Esau? Mount Seir. Yeah, Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And Seir means hairy. That's where you know. Uh, here, I'll show you all Mount Seir. I'm gonna show you where Esau's from. You ever see that? Y'all ever see Indiana Jones in the, uh, what was that, The Last Crusade? Y'all seen that? With Sean Connery, and they was finding the Holy Grail. They trying to say the Holy Grail was in here, up in Esau's house. <laughs> this, is, that, this is in Petra Jordan. It's modern day Petra Jordan. But you see the architecture is similar to the Roman shit, you know what I mean? This was built by Esau. This devil doing everything. They're trying can. to say this has got something to connect with, like some satanic, but like that's an erected penis. Or it's something. a penis. That's what that is. It's Osiris's mm -hmm. penis. Yeah. 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 Esau loves penis. <laughs> but look, look at this. This is a Washington <laughs> D.C. He's a faggot by nature. You see, is a penis it's a coming by up, nature. and there's a it's, there's a vagina at the bottom with some butt cheeks or balls or something. Right, right. Because they worship uh they worship sex. Like birth. Like, right, like, like just like they, the like they always worship in the ancient world. They always worship the fertility goddess. Right. That's what the queen of heaven is, the fertility goddess. You know what I mean? Like Isis, the Egyptian goddess Isis. There's a, there's, there's a, so there's one of them cities in America where if you connect the dots of the government buildings, it makes that's a basketball. Yeah, Washington. So that's DC. That's DC. And the yeah. point of the stars point right at the White House. Is that they, he's trying to they they trying to pull energy, demonic energy into the White House. The closer we get into the end, these demons that fight to is answering less and less. You know, you know, what I'm saying? You know there's actually a black man that designed the streets of uh, DC. Benjamin Banneker? Yeah, Benjamin Banneker. Yeah. What? Yeah, black man. Like, they can, they had him do it because he was an expert on astrology. Right. Yeah. We the same people that did that. Gemini and all it, that shit. It, it's all. Uh, yeah, if you if you talk about what's your sign, yeah, that's demonic. It's still the demonic too, right? That's it. Yeah. Alistair Crowley wrote books on yoga. He said to uh, prepare your body 
to summon up a demon, you gotta right. prepare your body by doing yoga. The same said that we the same devils use Israelites to build Washington. They use this to build up ancient Egypt. Too, you know? the, pyramids. Look, the pyramids. That's funny. I was just. Oh, that's the pyramids. How was the pyramids created? How was the pyramids? Do y'all know how? We the Israelites had the wisdom to do it. But look, they you, they to say it you draw a pentagram up inside of here. You draw a pentagram in there, it spell out Mason. Oh yeah, Where? I forgot about that. On the pyramid. Yeah, if you draw, if you draw, yeah, pentagram. I forget how to do it, but you draw a pentagram up in there. Uh, it was spell out Mason. You just Google that shit. It'll show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see the words around it. Yes, it is. Like, ain't Nuvis Ordo means a uh, new world order. Yeah. And then. Well, well, it means annual conceptus. Yeah, that means uh, uh, the year, the creation of the new world order, pretty much something like that. Because and knew it. That's where you get the word year, like it's annual, uh, anno. You know the funny thing, Satan giving us his that he owning this motherfucker. <laughs> that's the funny thing about it, and nobody don't see that shit. You know why? That's they the damn they, they know people with two babies in the ring with so. Right, right, right. You know, so they can put it in your face and, you know. Well, yeah, it gives them more power when they do that. Yeah, like you said, they give them more power because according to their demonic beliefs, they got to tell you what they're doing before they do it. That's how they do it. But people don't believe it either. Like in Batman, the Royal shooting was in Batman, Sandy Hooks was in it. Oh, you know about that? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. They, they had that, what, that, uh, that white broad, actually, that so called died and said, then the bitch appeared in the motherfucking Boston bombing. Oh, the Massachusetts bombing. Oh, and shit, they had the Boston bombings on Family Guy right before it happened. Yeah, the Boston bo the family guy. And then they had 9 11 in The Simpsons before it happened. Right. And what I'm confused about is how's a, how's a female going to die at the Sandy Hook, but then she dies at the, at the Boston. Uh, they do that all the time, use crisis actors, man. They'll be in one place in the same place. There's another destruction. You know, they probably all make Same actors. Same actors. Right? They probably all make it. You know? There's one guy before the Sandy Hook conference getting ready to go on camera all laughing and joking. He's like, oh, we're on and then starts acting like he's crying and shit. Right, right, right. It's been a minute since I looked at that Sandy Hook guy. If you think about the whole uh, Batman shooting theater, uh, the kid that was doing all the shooting was a heroic. Yeah, he was. He was okay, and what, what, he didn't even know what the fuck happened when he went to the courtroom. And you see all him, he just pretty much woke up and said, Where the hell am I? But they told him. They said they, yeah, did, he, so they he, did something to his ass. Yeah, he woke up to like make him do that like shit. Like nah, he didn't even do it. But, nah, but then they told him. They, they, they said that they, they uh, people, uh, the conspiracies is that they gave this nigga something that's able to control your mind, make you yeah, do that's shit. Like that. Yeah. That's what I think. But then when he went to trial, they, 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 they got shit like that. They can make. They said there was multiple shooters. Give you, give you a pill and get you do yeah. what you're telling them to do, man. And when that fact wear off, they got that. Stuff. They got that shit down in uh, South America. Is a uh, real dragon breath. Devil's breath. Devil's breath. Devil's breath. Devil's breath. breath. It, it, it grows wild. You can walk down the street and pick it off a tree. It grows so it's so plentiful. It's like a hallucinogen. You take these little. Uh, it's like pollen or something. It's like, it's like some. No, you take it from the seeds. Was it Vice who went and did went over there? Yeah, Vice. It was Vice. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, you ever hear about Vice? Vice, Vice News. Yeah. Yeah. I they did a story on a devil's breath. On that. They, but what they do with a the devil's breath? If you take a little bit of it, it uh, it's popular with prostitutes and strippers. They'll have some rich dude come up in there. She'll get on his lap and blow a little on his face. And she'll just take him to his ATM. He'll empty out his whole bank account. Woo, no way! You go up and blow it in somebody's face and be like, "Hey, dude, let's go get your TV," and he'll help you carry yeah, helps, his damn TV to your help. car. I gotta look that up. It turns right. you. It, uh, you. Real it, it makes you obey anything that you're told. That's real too. Well, nowadays, just flat screens, you can carry them by yourself, so. Look, here goes the bag. Now you yeah. saw the zombie shit that the motherfucker was doing. That he was oh, see, it's called like lift. Street. That's what it is. Cannibalism. Oh, yeah. The dude that got ate was getting ate up. He like, I feel, man, I love that guy. I forgive him. They doing shit for free. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you got to pay for together. it. They, was doing uh, they just started regulating it. That now they're probably protesting the regulations or something. I feel bad, man. was always doing stupid shit. <laughs> shit stupid man. shit. I like, hear the world is about to go to war. Here goes your girl. Here, just walking like it ain't shit. Like but when they see fire and brimstone come out that sky, yeah, yeah, they yeah. quick to grab up. They quick to barge in the barge. Hey, they grab a damn Bible. You know what I'm saying? Before that, man. <laughs> these people will experience a little taste of hell before the missiles come. The Lord is really out to get these people, man. 
yeah, they think they can. Let's Fucking see. hippies. Let's think it's a joke till then. They don't think it's a joke. 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 That's making me mad though, man. How how can the fuck can you just walk, jog, and all that shit? You know what I'm saying? Knowing that all this shit is happening right in front of your fucking mm -hmm. face and you yep. just walk like it ain't nothing. Yep. Yep. That's a damn yep. shame. But they yep. got, I mean, they There's got, a lot of motherfuckers out that's of the world, man, not against Bobby, it. They got good lives. They got money in the bank. They got a uh, nice, food, nice, nice food. They got food in the refrigerator. Yeah, they're going to be fucked up when shit goes down. Yeah, they got nice computers. They got all this shit. nice stuff. They ain't going to mean shit after they get it, That's though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Society shut down. They ain't none of this shit going to mean nothing. Martial law, motherfucker. Oh, it's over, man. They ain't going to mean nothing. Yeah, they got too much at stake to be trying to teach any kind of truth. You know what I mean? Because if you come out and do this, if your boss find out about it, they, you might get fired. You know what I mean? You get fired. They call you a terrorist. So you part of cult, you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? Speaking for speaking truth. Especially the women, because most women don't want to hear this type oh, of shit. Oh, it's most of just this is definitely not. They don't want to hear this shit. I'm amazed she's even out here at all. I mean Well she can still learn basic yeah. stuff though. You know? Because you know you ain't supposed to be opening your quiver up to different men. You know you ain't supposed to be wearing pants either. Having you shot I'm buy you a dress. You know what I'm saying? You know, these women, the, these these pants, those pants, these that these women wearing, it was a lesbian movement, and they start wearing oh, yeah. uh, pants and shit. Yeah, it was very. It used to be uncommon for women to wear pants. They started taking their bra. Yeah, back in the fifties and sixties, you never see women wearing you know, pants. You know, behind the uh, it was a so-called Judah was behind the women's liberation. Oh. Behind it all, the whole civil rights. They behind every yeah. motherfucking thing. They're so-called, so-called Jews. Yeah. Behind every damn thing. It was the so-called Jews founded the NAACP. Yeah, right. Right. Probably started Black Panther movement Still too. Probably did too. Probably. Or the new one. Yeah. 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 Probably yeah. started yeah. Black Panther shit was started in the fucking seventies. Yeah. 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 Yeah